Now, the next function that we will define is what I call the point impulse function. The point impulse function or unit impulse signal. It is quite wise for you to understand that sometimes in medical imaging physics it is important to model a point source in the characterization for example of the resolution of an imaging system. So the question I want to ask you is then is how then can we model a point source? Now to model a point source we use what we call a point impulse function or a unit impulse function. So, but how then can we define a unit impulse function? A point impulse, keep in mind, a point impulse is represented by the Dirac delta function. Is represented by a Dirac delta function. Now, if you remember correctly, a Dirac delta function is zero everywhere except at the origin. It's zero everywhere except at the origin. In other words, the Dirac delta function delta x is zero everywhere that is as long as x is not equal to zero but is is infinitely very large at x equal to zero it's infinitely very large at x equal to zero so if we draw a Dirac delta function It's gonna look somewhat like this. It's zero everywhere, then it's infinite. They're very large. Now I'm gonna do this. This is negative epsilon, this is positive epsilon. If we take this is an important property of the Dirac delta function. If we take the integral of negative e epsilon of delta x dx, this is going to be equal to 1. This is going to be equal to 1. What this means is, what this means is, if we multiply a function by the Dirac function, and then integrate that function from negative infinity to positive infinity, we will pick off the value of that function at the origin. We will pick off the value of that function exactly at the origin. This is really important. Let me say that again. Uh, Dirac delta function is a function that is zero everywhere except at the origin where it is, it is infinite or except at the origin where it is infinite. What that means is that if we multiply any function with the Dirac delta function and then integrate that function across all points in space, we will be able to pick out the value of that function at the origin. We will be able to pick out the value of that function at the origin because the Dirac delta function is only something at the origin and zero everywhere. And so, <clears throat> what this would mean that this would mean that if we integrate from A to B, F of X 
delta x dx we will have three values we we'll pick out the value of that particular function at the origin where a for all a less than zero less than b or the this will be zero everywhere this is a less than b less than zero or a or we could do the other side zero less than a less than b now this will be undefined this will be undefined at a equal to b equal to zero this is pretty much the definition of an impulse function. 